Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are getting ready for Christmas season. I am. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can see in the background here I do have a few little gifts that I just got through wrapping up. Um, those are about to go in the house pretty soon. But before I do that, I wanted to bring you guys the Southern Regions uh, December Monster Bass box. Uh, Monster Bass is a great company. I'm, I've been fortunate enough to be with these guys for, I believe, a year now. A year, maybe even a year and a half. But uh, great company, great people. They love trying to get everybody involved. Um, for those, if you're like me, um, I usually will go to our uh, tackle shop and I usually pick out the baits that I'm used to fishing and I know how to fish those very well. Monster Bass will send you baits that you normally wouldn't get. So it kind of helps you and it pushes you to become a better fisherman by using other lures. So that way you'll have other lures and techniques in your fishing arsenal to help you whether you're just out trying to have a good time catching fish. Maybe you're uh, fishing tournaments and you want to have that, uh, that advantage on everybody else who might be out there just fishing soft plastics. Maybe you want to be out there flipping a jig, running crankbaits, uh, working those jerk baits, but you're, you, you've never really got into those because you never went and bought those. With Monster Bass, not only will you get those lures, but then you get some great instructions and insights on how to use those baits from some of the pro staff uh, that are also affiliated with Monster Bass. So Monster Bass is a really great deal. And then, like I said, it's regional base, so you know you don't end up with lures that wouldn't work in your area. So that's one of the greatest things about it. I will leave that link down below so you guys can sign up and get your Monster Bass box. They have everything from multi-species, meaning in one box you'll get stuff for crappie, pan fishing, and bass fishing. You can pick the ice fix ice fishing box. So for the ones that are up north and the lakes are getting ready to freeze over or maybe they have already frozen over, get you a monster bass ice fishing box and get some of their great lures for ice fishing. And then just go ahead and pick up the, the bass fishing boxes, the, the platinum series, the gold series, whatever. You can't go wrong because the baits, I mean, you're talking Z-Man baits, Lunker Hunt baits, Strike King baits, Bruiser baits, uh... The list goes on and on on all the lure companies that a lot of your uh, professionals use, as well as a lot of local companies who are trying to get their name out there. Monster Bass will feature some of those local companies that will help get them started. And, and even if they're not trying to go as, you know, as broad as some of the others, at least it's getting them out there and people are getting a chance to fish their stuff. And then if they want to, they can go buy from them directly. So, or jump over to monsterbass.com, check out the store there, and get all of these lures that you see in the boxes, and you can stock up on those lures, so that way you always got some the next time you go out and hit the water. And now, let's jump into this month's box. As always, you have your handy dandy guide booklet here that talks about everything that you're going to get in the box, and sometimes you get some, some information on if they're featuring a specific technique, uh, Rick, the owner of Monster Bass, will reach out to the person who kind of pioneered that technique and get a lot of insight on what was their thought process when they came up with this technique. So a lot of good information in these booklets. Okay. This box here, uh, I will I will go ahead and tell you guys, I did look in this box the other day. So, uh, here's a few things we got, okay? You have a Monster Bass neck buff. I'm just going to guess by the color. I know you guys can't really see that color too well. Well, there you can. It's got a little bit of a greenish color. I'm going to assume that this pattern is going to be um, some kind of a bass pattern. Uh... 
it doesn't really say what's on here this is the platinum series box okay uh, give me a second I want to dig around in here for a second to see uh, there we go if I can get it my hands are kind of cold y'all my heater's been off in the shop and I haven't been out here in a while my hands are a little cold so here you have your neck buff you have your golden ticket uh, Monster Bass does a live podcast or a live uh, video on, on YouTube. So if you check in, and that's every Thursday at 7 p.m., and if they call out the number that's on your golden ticket, you win prizes, your Monster Bass stickers, and then uh, this one is a free t-shirt card. Any any order over $25 or more, and it has a code on there, and you'll get a free t-shirt from Monster Bass. And that's usually our little giveaways that we got right there. Now we're going to jump into what we have, the 13 Fishing Poppy McPop face. Oh, okay. So right here. Woo, I just ripped that thing open. So we have a popper bait with uh, some... Uh, VMC hooks on it. This is from 13 Fishing. Uh, the paint color, uh, let me see if I can find it. Chrome Blueback. That's what I was going to say. So you got a nice shad imitating pattern here. Okay. That right there, shad imitating. Um, I mean, it, you work this like any other popper. Uh, let's see here on the box here the tail weight position increased casting distance So it's got a little bit of weight back here in the tail to help you really get that thing out there It has the feather treble hook and it says it's custom and these are VMC hooks. So probably some custom hooks by VMC uh, Premium chemically sharpened black nickel hook. So we're talking some super super sharp hooks and a high definition paint finish so yes, I will say that paint is phenomenal it is awesome looking uh, this is a 5 8 ounce so for me I use a six foot um, I believe it's a six foot medium heavy or it might be a six foot medium uh, for my top water rod and that's just because I'm only about six foot six foot tall 511 somewhere in there so when I'm popping down uh, I don't want my rod tip hitting the water or the side of my boat so I have a shorter rod but with this uh, during this time it's the water is a lot colder so what I would actually recommend is slow pops you know you probably want to throw this around some cover open water you know some overhanging trees or something like that try to get it up under that stuff and slow pops because again where I'm at here in the south uh, it's getting really cold outside uh, in fact, the weather for us is predicting that we're supposed to get some snow next week. So we're talking cold water, slow activity uh, as far as the fish go. So I would probably give this, you know, a two to three second pause in between each pop. So like pop, one, two, three, pop, one, two, three pop something along that cadence something slow you want to imitate um, a dying bait fish that's still struggling to, to try to swim and you know it's having some trouble so I would slow it down a little bit try to pick the spots where the fish are going to be hanging out use those electronics to really find those fish and then throw that thing in front of them slow down your cadence unless the fish are telling you that they want something a little bit faster most likely they're going to want something a little slower depending on the water temperatures and where you're at again these lures uh look these up on uh tackle warehouse and you can compare paying 35 dollars a month for this box and normally you will get about 50 to 55 dollars worth of lures in here so go on tackle warehouse compare these lures to if you were to just try to buy them off of tackle warehouse to what you're doing here you're going to find out you're saving a ton of money so this is really going to be your best bang for your buck okay the next one is a vicious fishing trapper 
right here. And I mean, this is your, I, I don't, I don't like saying typical because if it was typical, then every company would be making the exact same thing. So this is a lipless crankbait by Vicious Fishing. Uh, lipless crankbait is half ounce. The color Delta Craw. Okay. Anyways, so you can see that right there, that red crawl pattern right there. Um, I would probably, you know, throw this around some grass, ripping it up out of there, and then even open water over some 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 rocks or something like that, and just a nice steady uh, steady retrieve. Uh, usually that's how you would work a lipless crankbait. Also, try the yo-yo method. Yo-yo method with lipless crankbaits. You throw it out there. You don't want to do this in like really thick thick grass or a lot of heavy cover, you know, brush and stuff. But you throw it out there, and once it's down on the bottom, you're going to yo-yo it. Pop it up, and as it's fluttering back down, that's when you take up the slack as you're lowering your rod back down. So as you're lowering the rod down and you're reeling up the slack, and then you're just yo-yoing it. Up and down. Up and down. Try that. Try moving the bait with the rod and not the reel. That sometimes will also trigger those bites. But with this crawl pattern... Uh, you'd probably want to keep it low, you know, keep it close to the bottom, imitating a crawfish of some kind. Next up, we have bruiser baits. And here we go, bruiser baits. We are throwing a sexy shad uh, crankbait, little square bill. Uh, dives down two to four feet deep. It's 7 16th ounce in weight. So, again, another shad imitating bait. And, uh... Again, uh, lipless crankbaits are good at deflecting off of cover and stuff, so don't be afraid to throw this into cover. Some brush piles. Uh, if you've got a tree that done fell over in a spot of water that you normally fish, don't be afraid to throw this around that tree and bouncing it off of those limbs. And, of course, throwing it around riprap and stuff like that. Never can go wrong with that. This is a good, really good color. Really, really good color. So... You know, don't be afraid to throw that stuff in this cold water. Yes, it's a fast-moving bait. Um, I would say drop down your gear ratios to either one of those 5 to 1 or maybe even a 6 to 1 gear ratio reel to make sure you don't fish it too fast. Uh, next up, we have Lunker Hunt. The Lunker Hunt Finesse Worms. This is just a really super-sized uh, Ned Rig right here. Uh, the cool thing about this is it does come with its own hook with a wire uh, weed guard if you can see in there let's see if I can you can see that little weed guard in there uh, the color watermelon seed it's a quarter ounce in there three inches in length so again rig this up on your finesse stuff uh, throw this out there and cover I would probably say in some brush open water uh, throw it up under trees Rip wrap some points, you know, and then fish just like you would new, do your normal Ned Rig. Drag it back, hop it a little bit, maybe even shake it a little bit. Just anything to trigger that bite. And again, cold water, so you want to slow it down. You can't go wrong with a Ned Rig. Next up, Big Bite Baits Jointed Jerk Baits. So, uh, I hate, well, I don't hate it. I, I shouldn't say that. I, uh, the, it's just a sealed up package, so I can't pull these out. Uh, this is called a Sunfish Laminate. Uh, 3.75 inches. You could probably put these on a small uh, jig head or even use these as a trailer on the back of a spinner bait or something of that kind. The I would probably fish this on uh, a drop shot. Is what this looks like. I, yes, this would make a great drop shot bait right here. So, can't go wrong with that setup. Uh, Z Man Soft Plastic. We have the Z Man Goat, uh, black and blue color. Let's see here. Got one that already fell out of the, the tray there. So, what I like about these, 
you pull these little tabs here to separate them so you get your action. You can either fish this on the back of a jig. Um, you could rig this up on a hook and fix it, fish it Texas. Uh, you could flip it. These appendages is going to give off a lot of great action. So in this color, you cannot go wrong with this color, the black and blue. Like that's one of those colors where when in doubt, you know, put it on there. You can't go wrong with it. Okay, and then I'm going to skip over that one. I'm going to come back to it. And then we have the Bait Labs uh, Fire Shad or, or Lucky Strike, whichever one. I've got the Bait Labs. Uh, it's like a little crankbait is what it looks like to me. Let's see here. This is called a Plasma Perch. It dives down one to six feet deep, three eighth an ounce. So yeah, a little bitty crankbait. Um, I would say test this out on a bait caster, but if that don't work, then you definitely want to go to a oh, excuse me, a spinning reel. But I'm pretty sure this will work good on your on your uh, crankbait setup for like your square bills and shallow diving crankbaits, and you can't go wrong with that. I don't know if any of the lakes where I live have perch in it um, I haven't seen anybody around this area catching perch so I'd have to research that but either way it goes this still should be a great lure to catch some fish now what I skipped over was we also got a package of the spear point hooks uh, these are a size 3 aught. so these hooks would go great with these uh, Z-Man goats to rig up like I said Texas rig or uh, on the back of a uh, jig of some sort, uh, swim jigs, anything like that, that would make a great trailer, but don't be afraid to fish those alone. Whether or not you peg it, I'm going to say that's up to you in the conditions that you're fishing. Uh, you can either go pegged or non-pegged. You know, again, let your conditions and your uh, situation determine how you do that, but have a setup for both. That's what I would say. Be prepared for both. But the conditions that you're facing is going to dictate whether you peg it or not. And that was all the lures that we had in this box. Um, I do want to point out a few things real quick that was in the in the book here. Normally, we have a lot of pages detailing the, the baits and where would be the best places to fish them. In this one, what they really done was focused on, I guess you could say the off-season or how to basically winterize your equipment. So they have a section in here for cleaning your reels. And this one, right now we're talking about how to clean a bait caster. So get your tools, uh, Q-tips, isopropyl alcohol, reel grease, and reel oil. Clean in the spool shaft. Take the side plate off of your bait casting reel and remove the spool. Put some alcohol on the Q-tip and use the Q-tip to clean the spool shaft. Next, use a fresh Q-tip to clean each edge of the spool. Cleaning visible debris. Clean every little nook and cranny you can without taking the reel apart. The idea here is simply to wipe any dirt and debris off of the reel while also removing old dried oil and caked on grease. The worm gear. Now let's work on the worm gear. That groove section below where the line come out of the reel that lays the line down evenly on the spool during retrieve. Use a little alcohol on a Q-tip to remove old grease. Once that's done, wait a second for the alcohol to evaporate. Then, of course, you want to grease and oil. While still working on the worm gear, uh, give it just a little grease, not too much. Then put a drop of oil on the spool shaft. Use the Q-tip to coat the shaft evenly again with only a light coat. Add a drop of the edges of the spool again. Use the Q-tip to spread the oil in an even light coat. So just a few little tips on cleaning your equipment during the winter time. Most people uh, here where I live, we've been focusing on hunting more than fishing. So this would be a perfect time to get your gear out of the boat, bring them inside somewhere nice and warm, get everything cleaned up. So when spring rolls around and you're ready to jump back in there and you're not making that first cast in the spring and then your equipment falls apart because you didn't properly maintain it during the winter. While I'm saying all of this, 
I need to be doing that myself. So probably here in the next few days, I'm going to be getting my stuff out of the boat, bringing here in the shop, getting everything all cleaned up. Uh, also talking about winterizing your kayak. I don't have a kayak, so I'm not even worried about that. But just a lot of great information here on taking care of your equipment. Because who wants to spend $150 on a reel, maybe $150 on a rod, and then you use it once or twice because you didn't take care of it properly and it broke. So, Monster Bass does not just focus on the lures. They also try to help you with other tips to make sure that your gear that you have lasts a long time. Whether that's your kayak, your boat, your, your rods, your reels, your hooks, your lures, whatever. So, again, great company, great people. They always got great information. I am happy to be a part of that group. And uh, it, it truly is a blessing. And uh, just super excited about it. So, that's all I got for you guys. I hope everybody have a safe and Merry Christmas. And also have a safe and Happy New Year. Till the next time, see you guys in the great outdoors.